neighbor that's always asking you for advice. That friend that never seems to run out of things to be worried about. That person you see and faithfully greet each weekday morning on your way to work. The neighbor you know needs Jesus. Yes, each and every one of these people and more need to hear you say, join me at top. Give them a card, which you can get from an usher. Put your name and which services you attend and tell them, join you at top. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 directs us to pray without ceasing. When life is rough, it's time to pray. When life is great, it's time to pray. Join us each week on Wednesday for Hour of Prayer right here in the sanctuary from 12 noon to 1 p.m. Because God speaks to those who take time to listen and he listens to those who take time to pray. It is 2019 and we are welcoming this new year with open arms, ready to embrace what the Lord has in store for us. So with that being said, clear your calendars, open your hearts and get ready for a prophetic healing service on Friday, January 25th at 7.30 p.m. We have a special guest, Prophet Howard Hamilton from Wilmington, Delaware will be in the house here at Tabernacle of Praise and God has a tailor-made word just for you. So be sure not to miss it. Again, that is Friday, January 25th at 7.30 p.m. Don't miss out. Our mission is to educate, emancipate, and empower people to ultimately make a difference in our personal lives and community. Therefore, we are inviting you to join us for an inspiring discussion series on the topic, Finding and Understanding Your Purpose in God's Kingdom during our Monday Night Bible Class. We will be discussing the book, In Pursuit of Purpose, The Key to Personal Fulfillment by Miles Monroe and touching on topics such as, Who am I? Where am I from? A question of your heritage. Why am I here? A question of your purpose. What can I do? A question of your potential. Where am I going? A question of your destiny. Class dates are January 28th, February 4th and 25th, March 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th, April 1st, 8th, 15th, and 29th, and May 6th and 13th. These classes are open to everyone eager to learn and grow in Christian faith. New converts, seasoned believers, new members, clergy, teachers, ministry members, and leaders. All are invited and encouraged to participate. See you there on Monday night at 7.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. DOZ's being the best me that I can be Women's Conference 2019, the year of the woman. From March the 21st through the 24th, all roads lead here to the Tabernacle of Praise. Join us Thursday night as we worship and praise with none other than Bishop Jackie McCullough as our guest speaker. And all are welcome. Friday will be a day of focused workshops at the Top Civic Center. Saturday the 23rd, we will also be at the Top Civic Center for an Empowered Women Award Luncheon. Your all-inclusive registration of only $180 will cover Friday's workshops, breakfast, lunch, and Saturday's award luncheon. See anyone now standing or register online at topcathedral.org. If you register by February the 10th, you will be entered in a drawing to win an iPad mini or a 55-inch TV. Last but certainly not least, Bishop Maureen Davis will be our guest speaker for both services on Sunday, March the 24th. You know, when you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9, the Bible says, hallowed be your name. The word hallow means honored. And the word honor means two things, to value and to love. 
when you honor, you value and love the person. And how do you do it? Putting that person in first place. If you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9, verse 1 through 14, you will see that Jesus talked about three things, about fasting, giving, and prayer. And there's something important I want you to understand about first fruit. And we honor God in prayer. We honor God in fasting. And, and giving, we usually give God our first fruit. And what do you mean about first fruit? What are, what are first fruits? Number one, first fruit is the first part of your income that you receive in the beginning of the year that you give it to God. In the last five years, my wife and I, we made a decision to give God one month of our income. Totally, the way we receive it, we give it back to God. And we have seen hundreds and hundreds of blessings of God because we make a decision. Of course, you make a decision. I don't have to tell you how much you're going to give. It depends how much do you want to honor Him. And I've seen people giving two weeks of their salary, the first two weeks of the salary. Some other people say, Pastor, no, I will give one day, two days. And, but I, this is the way I have seen it. And I'm a, I have experienced myself the blessings. When we do the first fruits, this is what they do. Number one, it has the power of redemption. What do you mean the power of redemption? When you give God and honor God in fasting and prayer, the, the threefold cord, and you do this, God will redeem the rest of the money of the year. For example, God will, redemption means, the power of redemption means that God will multiply it. And I have seen it in my own life. You know, the rest of the year, God will protect your finances. God will rebuke the devourer. God will open the windows of heaven because you are giving him the first fruit. And in, in the Old Testament, you will see Israel celebrating the first fruit. And this is what I want you to be ready. I want you to be part of this. And I want you to celebrate the first fruit. Number two, it will sanctify the rest of the of the money, of the rest of the time. And number three, the first fruit has the power, the power, the, this is the power of multiplication. Every time you honor God first, because honor means value, love, God will say that His money, His finances is protected because He honored me in the beginning of the year. God says, I'll despise those who despise me and I will honor those who honor me. And join with us in prayer, 21 days of prayer and 21 days of fasting and prayer. And the threefold cord will release the unexpected and above and beyond. God bless you.